In my previous video about dim buffers, we casually mentioned windows, but we didn't go in depth how they work together with buffers. Today we'll explore exactly that, how windows interact with buffers to create a flexible and powerful editing experience. Hi, my name is Marco, let's get started. What are windows and dim? So we learned that buffers are just files loaded into memory. Windows are just views into these buffers. You can have just one window open, which takes up all of the space, or you can split your editor into different windows. Each of those windows could show a different buffer, but you could also display different parts of the same buffer in different windows. So for example, you could have some code open in one window and at the same time have another window open where you work on the tests for this code. This way you can easily reference the code while you're working on the tests. But that's just one example. Let's look at how we can actually use windows in practice. For managing these windows, there are commands that you use in command mode, and there are also some default key bindings you can use. So let's say I wanted to create a horizontal split here. I could go into command mode and type SP, which stands for split. And you see, I just created a horizontal split here. I'm sure you know the command to close this window already because it's simply Q, which lets you also quit Vim if you just have one window open. Let's try to split the window again, but this time using keyboard shortcuts. For most of the window commands, there are multiple default keybinds defined. So if I wanted to split the window horizontally again, I could use Ctrl W and S, or I could use Ctrl W, Ctrl S. Most of the time I use Ctrl W, Ctrl S, because then I can just keep pressing Ctrl. And as I said before, this works for most of the default window command keybinds. So there's also a keybind to close the active windows. It's Ctrl W, Ctrl Q, or Ctrl W, Q. And we can also split the window vertically, of course. There's V split for this, or you can use Ctrl W, V, or Ctrl V. If we don't give these commands any other file name, we simply open the same buffer in another window. Let's close these again. Now let's say we wanted to split the window directly with another file inside it. We can use the same command split and vsplit for that, but we give it an argument of a file name. So let's use vsplit here again. And we can also tab complete for files here. Let's just open the first file that gets suggested here. And now we have a different file side by side open with the other file we already had. Now you want to be able to navigate between those splits also. Let's first create another split. So now we're focused on the bottom right split here. To focus other windows, we can use Ctrl W followed by HJKL or the arrow keys. And you go to the direction that you would imagine using these. So let's type H now and now we're on the left side here. Let's go back to the right using a right arrow key right now. Of course, preceded with a Ctrl W. Maybe you noticed already, every default window keybind starts with Ctrl W. You can also just use Ctrl W, Ctrl W to jump through the windows without a given direction. Or you can use Ctrl W, P to jump to the previous window. Let's quickly go over resizing windows. To adjust the horizontal split here, we can use Ctrl W minus or Ctrl W plus. And of course we could prefix these commands with a count. So let's say we wanted to have five more lines visible in the current window. We'll type five and then Ctrl W and plus. And now the window is five lines bigger. This also works on the other axis, of course. We can use the angle brackets for that. So if you use Ctrl W left angle bracket, it makes the window smaller. You can also prepend this with a count. Let's do this here to make it a little bit more visible. So let's say we wanted to have a 10 column smaller. Let's type 10 and Ctrl W and then the opening angle bracket. Or let's make it 20 columns bigger with Ctrl W, 20, the closing angle bracket. Let's make this window even bigger now. So 50, Ctrl W, closing angle bracket. Now I can't really see anything that's in the left window. I have a few options to fix this. I could manually resize the windows here, but I could also use Ctrl W and equal sign, and this will equalize the window sizes. If I want to have the currently active window as my only window again, I could switch to every other window and close it, but I can also use Ctrl W and O, or use the command only in command mode to close all the other windows but the currently active one. You can also create new empty windows with new or Ctrl W N. This also works for vertical new files with vnew, but I don't think there's a default keybind for that. So 
So thanks if you're still watching this video here. It's great to have your support. I'm really grateful for all of you watching, liking, subscribing. If you want to support me even more, I just recently activated the YouTube membership program with different levels and perks. So maybe there's something interesting there for you. Also, don't forget, I will link a Vim cheat sheet in the description, which will also include all the commands we covered today here. If you have any suggestions what I should cover next, please drop a comment below. If you haven't seen the video on BIM buffers yet, click on the video popping out right now. Thanks for watching, see you around and take care.